Welcome, this is item number 17 from the released Spring 2014 test items for uh, Tennessee TCAP 7th grade math. So the question says, what is the value of 4a plus 9 plus 12a minus 4 minus 3a when a is 5 over 6? Now, pull kind of a jerk move here if you don't have calculator because the, your substitution variable ends up being a fraction, but it doesn't make it that hard. I'll do it once with the calculator in case you have one. If you don't, stick around, I'll show you the other side of the back end. This way you get the calculator people out of here relatively quickly. So I'm going to clear this out. Now the only thing that you have to remember really is that um, 4a means 4 times a. If the numbers and letters are touching, that's multiply. So my suggestion is that you put your fraction in parentheses when you have the times relationship. That way the calculator isn't confused, it doesn't get typed in weird. So I'll just do 4 and then I'll hit parentheses and I'll hit my N over D button which in my calculator is the fraction button. If you are using a calculator the only bummer part of this is that you have to make sure that you click to the right once you get inside of a fraction. Otherwise it's pretty good opportunity for you to get stuck underneath like keep typing stuff in the denominator when you're not paying any attention. Nothing infuriates me more. I get so annoyed like here if I click 6 and I don't click out to the right and I just start keep typing typing like close parentheses minus 4 see the calculator throwing it all in there it's annoying so avoid that if at all possible by just making sure that you click to the right to get out of it because you get in there and then it's like you just realize that you did it and it drives you insane at least it does me um, and then minus 3 parentheses and every time that it's there it's always going to be 5 over 6. Click to the right, click out, and you're done. And then you just hit enter, and you get 15 and 5 6, so the answer to this one is A. Well, what happens if you don't have a calculator with you? You have to do it by hand. Well, it's not that hard, so let's do that. Um, and if you are a calculator person, you can kind of dump out on this one. It's over. So I'll do each individual part separately, and then just do the additions and subtractions later. So 4 times 5 sixth. It's really 4 over 1, so you just do 4 times 5 and it gives you 20 over 6. So I'll just do 20 over 6 here, come back to it later. Uh, plus 9, 12 times 5 over 6. 12 times 5 is 60, divided by 6, regular 10. So plus 10, minus 4, negative 3 times 5 over 6, negative 15 over 6. Everything you do from now is just left to right. It is very conveniently organized because it makes it seem like this sort of follows the whole PEMDAS idea that when you say PEMDAS you're like, oh, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or whatever you're using for order of operations. Well, all the additions come first. It wouldn't matter, you would just do whatever comes left to right, but that's just kind of how it goes. In order to make it work, I'm actually going to do something and not get a huge common denominator right now. Uh, so I'll just do 20 over 6. Uh, what I could go ahead and do is convert this into a mixed number. And so it goes in 3 times and I end up with 2 6 there. I'm not going to change it yet. And I'm also going to do this one. So it would be 2 and 3 6. The reason I'm not going to change it is because it's easier to go ahead and combine them later. So I'll do 3 and 9 which is 12 and 10 which would be 22 and 22 minus 4 is 18. So I have 18 and 2 6 minus 2 and 3 6. Now I need to make a little bit of you know kind of an adjustment about how things are going to go so what I might consider doing now is coming up with just you know sort of wrapping it back around so 16 times or 6 times 18 which is of course 108 and then you add two more and you get 110 over 6 minus 12 13 14 15 over 6 I should have just left that one I realize now so 110 minus 15 gives you 95 and then you have to start thinking, okay, how many times does 95 go into 6? You can always do it this way if you want.
So it goes in one time. And I'm looking at five times and with a remainder of five. So I'll have, because this is 35, see? Um, so 15 and 5, 6. So you can still do it without a calculator, it just takes a little bit longer. And you may, since you, if you don't use them a lot, you probably already have the skills to make it go even faster than you saw me make it go just now. But that's it. The biggest thing is to remember that if the variable and the number are touching, it's multiply. And if you're using calculator, try to keep things in a nice parentheses. That way you don't type things in incorrectly and miss a question that's really pretty easy.